Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see how we can express very small numbers in scientific notation format. The mass of electron and mass of proton are very small numbers and we want to know how much the, uh, the mass of proton, um, we want to know how, how much larger is the mass of proton when compared to mass of electron. So to explain that, I want to write some information down here and then we will go ahead and then see uh, how to use the scientific notation to simplify this particular example. So we will write the, the quantity which, which we know from, phys from basic physics are as follows. Mass of electron we know which is equal to 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms and mass of proton is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the power of let me write this a little bit more clear times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms. Now we have the masses and we want to know how much, uh, what is the, uh, how much more, uh, how many times more the mass of proton is when compared to the mass of electron. So to do that, we will break this thing down into these different steps and these are very small, very, very small numbers and when we are dealing with very small numbers, if we write, if we were to write it in those uh, regular format, there will be so many zeros. We will be, it will be very confusing. So therefore, it is one easy way to uh, express those very small numbers is in scientific notation, as shown here. And now, we can write the, we can write this as a ratio to find out the, <coughs> find out. The amount of time, the num, the number of times the mass of proton is larger than the number of the the mass of electron. So we'll write that as a ratio, and the the way we want to write it out is as follows: mass of proton, mass of proton divided by mass of electron. mass of electron and mass of proton is given to us as 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms and mass of electron is given to us as 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms so it is now it is now a matter of simplifying the math in here and we'll write that as we'll write this as step number two we are simplifying the process now 1.67 divided by 9.11 that's that is the numbers part of it times 10 to the power of 27 is already in the numerator and we have 10 to the power of negative 31 in the denominator so when we bring it up to the numerator it becomes a power we can express that as a positive quantity therefore 10 to the power of negative uh, positive 31 and now when we simplify this we'll, we'll further simplify this we'll write that as step number 3 1.67 divided by 9.11 is equal to 0 0.18331504 and then since we have the same basis we can write this as 10 to the power of negative 27 plus 31 so because we know that if we have we are we are looking at that exponential rule where we say if the bases are the same a to the power of m times a to the power of n we write the base once and we combine the powers a to the power of m plus n in that manner so therefore we can write this out as 0.18 Three, three, and we are just rounding it to the fourth decimal place uh, times 10 to the power of 
negative 27 plus 31 is equivalent to 4, positive 4. So 10 to the power of 4. So when we, when, so what this means is it is 0 point, uh, 0 0.1833 times 1 followed by 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So therefore when we multiply 0 0.1833 times uh, 10 to the power of 4 or 10,000, this is going to come out as 1833. So, uh, the mass of proton, what we are trying to say here to tie it back into the problem, the mass of proton, the mass of proton is equivalent to 1833. 1,833 times times more than the mass of mass of electron that is what this example is explaining to us so in here we, we have seen an example where there are two very small numbers and we were able to express those in terms of scientific notation we were able to simplify them and then we were able to tie it back into the given problem by saying that this one 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 quantity is so many times larger than the other quantity so in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to uh, scientific notations